Another look at the International Space Station flying over Typhoon and Zunik uh, earlier this morning and was transmitted live in our earlier live streaming event. In this update, we have a look at Typhoon 23W Simmermon. And the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has it located near 24 decimal 1 degrees north, 140 degrees east. And they have it about 82 nautical miles west southwest of Iwo 2 Japan, tracking northwest at 16 knots. And wave height is 33 feet. The position from the Japanese Meteorological Agency hasn't changed. And shortly we'll have a look at the JTWC's current chart. Animated MSI shows the system continue to deepen and intensify as highly symmetric convective banding or bands wrapped tighter into a sharply outlined 28 nautical mile eye. I've been uh, waiting to see what the uh, size of the eye is. The initial position is based with high confidence on the eye feature in the MSI loop. The initial intensity of 110 knots is based on an overall assessment of agency objective BOEC estimates. The significant six hour intensification and that is reflected by the T5.5 to T6. Upper level analysis indicates excellent radial outflow low vertical wind shear. This is a look at the life of the typhoon up to earlier today. The cyclone is tracking along the southwestern periphery of a deep layer steering which to the northeast. Typhoon Simmermon will continue tracking northwest then change to a northward direction along the western periphery of the steering ridge. Between 36 to 48 hours before making uh, landfall over eastern Shaikuku. Apology for the pronunciation and the system will then cross Honshu, exiting into the Sea of Japan as it begins to recurve and accelerate north eastward. Upper level divergence remains uh, strong in the region. Here's the wind shear. We will continue to bring the latest uh, information on how it can land Typhoon and Zulik and this one that we're currently covering. 850 minute bar vorticity and something's caught my eye in this and I'll consider it over the next uh, several hours. Uh, tropical tidbits, uh, 23W Simmermon a track and now we have a look at the GFS model it's available on the pivotal 
where the website it's precipitation the scales at the bottom of the screen and this is for the Asian region so recapping not much difference in the information compared to what we broadcasted earlier this morning You can follow Force 13's outlets to website force13.com with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.